I'll, I'll, we could keep on going for hours, but I'm going to have to wrap this up. To the musicians out there, what's the one piece of advice that you would most want to give them? Um, I think the, the piece of advice that I usually say, because I get this question a lot, is, um, uh, well, I forget how I put it, it was very simple. Um, you have to promote an equal amount to what you create. That's really it. You have to learn how to promote and sell and be business minded an equal amount is what you create because one cannot coexist without the other. So as much as you devote as your time to... As much as you devote your time, you're, you're, the time that you spend creating your content is just as important as how you promote it and how you place it and figure out so how to... So run your it. business. Run your business, yeah. How to, how to pr pr pub publicity is everything for this, for this time in the game. And that, that comes into all parts of it. It's your Facebook, your Twitter, it's cross-promoting, it's going and meeting the people at the other end of the business, figuring out how... And you were doing that back in the day for you, which is the relationship with all the radio DJs that you've been talking about and doing those early morning Yeah, you know, you spots. have to... And, and, but it's also, when we were doing that, we were signed to the label who was, who was putting that stuff together for us. And now you gotta go and do it yourself. I know a guy, I swear to God, he's a, he's a new hero of mine. He's in a band called um, The Rap Scallions. He's a bass player for this band. And they're not signed to a major label. They didn't even have an album that's, they're mixing it right now as we do this interview. Their song is the soundtrack for the International Hockey League in America for basically the entire summer. And they got it because the bass player went through and researched for a couple of days, who's the guy to call to get the song on the hockey? And he called him and he said, I've got your next fucking song, check it out. And the guy called him back the next day and said, I love the song, we're gonna play it tomorrow. Bang. That's that's a game changer. That's what a label does. You can. There's no yeah. reason. Well, you, you had that with yourself. the label. You had the WWE song. All that stuff. And, yeah. Uh, the game, the computer game, whatever. But, but, but that, they did that work for you. Yeah. Now you have to figure out how to do it yourself. And most people would say, and I swear to God, most people would tell you, you can't do it yourself. It's too much work. That's not true. A label will tell you, you can't do it yourself because we have the connections. That's clearly not true because this guy did it, and, mo and people do it all the time. You just have to recognize that you can really do anything. There's nothing to stop you from doing anything. You just have to actually do it. And you've got to put the time in and you've got to be smart and you've got to figure it out. But you, there's nothing, nothing can stop you. Especially, you know, this guy was smart at what I'm telling you about. He was like, this is my audience. The song impinges that emotion. What, what's it going to work great on sports? I, I love hockey, so I'm going to go with hockey. So he does the research and he shows it to the guy and lo and behold, the guy agrees. Yes, this is the perfect song. It was the right move. He did his job. Everything worked out, mm. you know, because he was smart about it. It's not, nothing's impossible. If anyone tells you, no, it doesn't work that way, you can't do it, it's, it's a lie. Don't work with them. If someone comes to you and says, it's not how it works, trust me, I've got your best interest at heart. I know what I'm doing. No, 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 no <laughs> fuck off. All right, talking about a business model, how to make money in this, uh, is one approach perhaps uh, that some people are doing is find an audience that you can then cater for and try to build um, a brand mm. that you can sell to that specific audience. Yep. Is, does that work for music? That works, well, that works for everything, but it definitely works for music. And it's funny that this comes up now because when I was in LA uh, over the last month, I met a woman who I'm a big fan of now named Wendy Stalin. She, uh, I don't know how to put it exactly, but basically she created the concept for Lady Gaga, right? Lady Gaga is Lady Gaga, but she helped um, manifest the entire vision of it. And she was telling me about it the first time that I met her. And uh, she explained to me the ABCs of it. She said, all right, I found this girl and she's amazing. She's great. And I have these songs and I know what they're, I know the type of music that I want it to be. Uh, the, the music works for that. That's great. But now how do I, what, what do I, what do I do? What, how do I really figure this out from the ground level? So she went, all right, the music sounds like really big theatrical kind of stuff, big dance, pop, larger than life type of stuff. So it's not going to be Britney Spears and it's not going to be Beyonce. It's going to be something that's a show. So who loves big who loves big gay shows the best? The gay market, <laughs> right? So she goes, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the clubs. She went to the gay clubs for as long as it took to get the vision. And she basically reverse engineered back to the music and said, well, what, what, are, what do they want? They want, they want the, 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 in terms of that scene, there's the lights, there's the outfits, there's the leather and the spandex there's and the, the glam, the glam and there's the, there's the dancing, there's the over the top, there's the, there's the, that, that, that's the vibe, that's what it is. And it went, and she, she was telling me this at a party and it went deeper and deeper and deeper into it. Like, okay, so now, uh, you know, this, this girl, Lady Gaga, I forget her actual name, but you know, Lady Gaga, she's a phenomenal singer. 
She's a phenomenal performer. She's like a, she's like a Freddie Mercury. Great, because Freddie Mercury is pretty much the greatest gay icon that ever lived. Great. So she's going to be the female Freddie Mercury. So what are we going to call her? Well, what was, what was Freddie Mercury and Queen's biggest song? Radio Gaga. Cool. We'll call her Lady Gaga because she's going to be bigger than Queen. She's royal. She's Lady Gaga. And as she's telling me this, I'm like, this is fucking genius. <laughs> this is fucking genius. Like, to be that specific and that intelligent and that calculated to the market and also and she wrote the songs and i'm like this woman's so she's created found an audience created a brand created yep. a model and then found the perfect person and she just in, yeah, she, and then she found the perfect person to play the role and i don't i don't know and i'm not going to comment because I, I don't know what level of involvement it was but i don't know if she based it off what the lady gaga woman i forget her name what she was doing or if she had it created already she molded a, she molded it around her yeah. or if she just injected her into the situation but whatever it was a perfect marriage and this isn't taking any anything away from the woman lady gaga who is who has done the work to sell it and done it but this woman who created and signed her to one of those 360 deals that i'm telling you about where she was like well we're gonna we're gonna brand you we're gonna create i mean lady gaga is the the greatest musical brand of the last 10 years you know it perfectly impinged on the audience. It worked for everything it was trying to achieve. And it took fucking time. This woman developed Lady Gaga for years. No one wanted to hear Paparazzi. The song was finished. And no one and was like, it's a good song, but what? who cares? Big deal. Everyone's got a good song. And it was like, well, no, there's a vision. There's a whole thing. And everyone was like, well, that's great. Show us when it's missing something. Show us <laughs> when you're done. So, so she kept going and she put it together and she developed and she worked. She didn't just go, here's a good song. Go sing it. We'll make a quick video. Throw it on the wall. If it sticks, we make some money. If it doesn't, we move on. It was real artist development to create something that was bigger than the sum of which its Which used parts. to happen in the old days. Which, is what, time that, which was the only it. way people knew how to do it. But now... They, the, the, the problem is that everyone's trying go to Go develop out, yourself. Go develop yourself. And then whatever we do is going to be throwing it at the wall for three months. And we need to get the bean counters to count the, to count the, the, the dollars up. And they're going to keep going up. And then if it doesn't make enough money, we drop you. And if it does, I got my third quarterly rates in and I don't lose my job. That's what the labels are thinking. Mm. Everyone at the labels, at, the, at that level, most of them are just thinking, how do I make sure I make enough money so no one fires me? <laughs> so yes, you can find a market build a product that would suit that market perfectly and it can work but it takes a lot of work it's usually the most effective way to do it mm. but it takes more work than most people are willing to put into it but it's you, it's pretty much a fail safe if you do that effectively and you stay at it you can't really lose the only time the only way you lose is if you stop you stop doing it properly if you give yourself. up too if quickly. you give up too quickly you, you you failed if you stop but if you keep going you can't fail mm. if you, you can't. but it took as you say it could take up to 10 years it always takes up to 10 years it always takes 10 years. Lady Gaga, the woman, was playing sh club shows and cafes for years before anyone picked her up and said, I want to work with you and develop you into something more. That, that would have taken 10 years. Hmm. It always takes 10 years. There's no overnight successes. Shim, thank you so much. All good. I'm sure we could keep going, but we'll have to leave it there. Thanks. This has been Shimon Moore on the litmus test. Um, have you got any websites or anything you want to speak? Or we just search him on the web, you'll just find Google him. Just Google me. Just yeah. Google him and, and see where he's living and do keep track of what he's up to because there's new stuff coming but we can't really talk about it yet. Yeah, yeah. Mostly just the Facebook and Twitter is Shimon Moore official Facebook and uh, Shimon Moore on Twitter. Yeah, so in the course of the next 12 months, there's going to be some new exciting things from Shimon, I reckon. So keep an eye out. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome to this special interview of the Litmus Test. There's with the voice that I was talking about. There's the voice. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying... The, 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 what do you call it? The, um, the presenter voice. The presenter, the presenter, presenter voice. voice. Yes, my presenter the voice. The volume goes up. Stop and the, interrupting the, the me. The volume goes up and the bass goes fucking up. <laughs> Are go, you ready? Go. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. I totally meant to interrupt. Go. <laughs> go. It's going to be one of those ones. Hello, welcome to this special interview of the... <laughs> There you made yourself Hello, it's, it's, I'm telling you, the fucking bass yeah, kicks in. It's gonna be long. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello, welcome to. <laughs> Let me get the introduction well, like done at least. OJ's like <laughs> James L. Jones just walked in. <laughs> welcome to the Litmus <laughs> Test. No.